I think it's safe to assume that we're not going to get the PvP that we've been waiting for, looking for, hoping for inside of Diablo Immortal. Instead, changes to something that we don't love. But I think that I have an idea here that could really solve a lot of the PvP issues that we're having inside of the game, which essentially, at the end of the day, are a lot of the issues in general that we're having with the game. Now, with this being said, I've currently been playing the Accursed Tower. This is an attempt at PvP by Blizzard, and in my opinion, it's a failed attempt at PvP, but the PvE element of this game is quite fun. I actually enjoy it quite a bit, and I've been engaging in it every single day. Not only do you get great rewards, not only is the game mode fun, but it also really gives you good XP as well. I tend to always gain a Paragon level or two just from doing the Accursed Towers while getting all the rewards. It's fun to play either solo, like I'm doing right here, or even more fun when you can hook up with a couple of your clanmates, a couple of friends, and play it together. Really been enjoying the game mode, but as I mentioned, this is a failed attempt at PvP. It's... It, it didn't go well. Now, how you get the towers and stuff, yeah, I get it. It's just not, it's just too deep, not fun. PvE though, on point, and I really do like it quite a bit. So, what's the plan here? Well, I was actually watching DM's video where he was talking about the, I guess, I don't know if you'd call it a hack or not, but about removing gems, then going into your battleground and re, re, um, throwing the gems back in your slots so that you can then be put into the queue as if you have zero resonance, and then when you get in there and you're already matched with a zero resonance thought, then you put your gems back on and you have an advantage. Now, that is not my idea, but it did spark an idea for me. I don't love Battlegrounds. I don't love a Cursed Tower PvP. I don't love any of the PvP inside of the game. Part of it is because of the game mode itself. I don't particularly enjoy it. And the other part is the, the gem resonance you get completely wailed out on and it can be very difficult at times, which could be frustrating as a player. So assuming that Blizzard is not really going to spend too much time focusing on PvP inside of the game and instead they're going to enhance quality of life, new character classes if the Blood Knight ever comes or even just new PvE, I would actually be okay with that since every attempt at PvP is something that I haven't enjoyed. But here's the idea. What if they had, for one click of a button, a Battlegrounds mode that was gemless? A Battleground mode that was resonance-less. And all it has to be is an option. This is something that I've been talking about forever as far as a, um, like an options list, a queue list, different game modes list. So rather than having to go to the Accursed Towers for a game mode, rather than having to go to Battlegrounds for a game mode, how about when you go to Battlegrounds, we have a big menu pop up with a bunch of different options. But right now, I'm focusing on two options. The first option is Battlegrounds as we know it. Dive in, fight with whales, lose to whales, get frustrated, put your phone down, and go to work. Like, that's how it goes right now. But what if we had an option, regular game mode right here, Battlegrounds, battlegrounds resonance list which would mean essentially your legendary gems which are what give whales the majority of their um of their power and you know what it can even be resonance list and it can be gemless which means you wouldn't have your secondary slot gems or your primary slot gems all you'd have would be your skills would be the gear that you have and that's it this could be very fun the reason being is it takes the whole pay to win element out of this pvp mode and it puts in a more skill-based game mode this is amazing this idea i'm gonna pat myself it's a good idea because look have leaderboards have your battlegrounds your standard battlegrounds leaderboards and we're gonna see the whales the solid players and all of those people whether and, and i'm not saying that everyone on the top of those leaderboards are whales because of course they are not but it's very hard as a free player to find yourself towards the top of these leaderboards. But you'll have two leaderboards, one for the standard battlegrounds, and the other one can be for the gemless. And I'm on the fence whether it should include secondary gems or only primary gems being removed. Uh, let's say all gems at this point, because listen, you can spend a lot of money to upgrade your normal gems as well, which free-to-play players, it's quite a bit more of a grind to actually get there with how you have to farm platinum and do all of that stuff. So if it could just be all gemless, I think that would be really cool. And you know what else would be cool? 
to be able to look at the leaderboards and say, oh, wow, this gemless leaderboard looks very different than this normal Battlegrounds leaderboard. It would be very interesting to see if people who are whales and big spenders would even want to play a gemless mode because the advantage that they had paid for over time, their investment would be, um, it would not be as valuable. It wouldn't really be valuable at all. Now, of course, you could, um, those people, for the most part, they grind pretty hard. They're above Paragon level. They will have advantage there, but that is skill and grind advantage. And that, in my opinion, is totally fair. If you have player A, who spends $5,000 a month in Diablo Immortal, but also plays and grinds and is above the Paragon level, that is a legit player. That is a player that is not just paying to win, but they are also playing to win as well. That is just as serious as a player as the free-to-play player who grinds every day, is above Paragon level, and is building the most optimal builds that they can build so that they can compete with people that are paying. Honestly, those players are the same, besides the money spent in the game. Their play activity, their playing level, and their skill level is probably very similar because of the time they put into the game. So it'll be really awesome to watch these types of people face off in a gemless mode. Legendary gear, you could... Uh, oh, oh, how would Awakening work? I guess Awakening slots, any Awakening that happened wouldn't be doable because, or it wouldn't be part of this either because that would be part of a gem mechanic inside of the game, which if we're making a resonance-less game mode, that would be it. I think this is an easy fix. Like I've, I've thought of ideas in the past. I said, oh, do a battle royale mode where you drop in with no gear and you have to farm gear as you go. They kind of did that in some other game modes, but it wasn't PVP based. Um, uh, I thought of, you know, team deathmatch style, objective-based gameplay style, not just Battlegrounds, like all that stuff that we typically see in games like Call of Duty and stuff, but in a Diablo universe. I think it would be cool. But I do recognize that something like that is a lot more to take on. It's a lot of building to do, and maybe they're not willing to spend the time or money in those types of game modes. Maybe they don't think that that will be uh, the value for the game, which is fair. But to add a button that clicks and says, here, this is the same exact Battlegrounds, which to be frank, I don't like. I don't love the gameplay of Battlegrounds. Whether it's gemless or not, I personally don't like it, but a lot of people do. I'm probably in the minority of people that don't like the mode itself. Most people that don't like it, they don't like it because of the, you know, the having to go against whales and pay to win and all that stuff. But I think if they could just put this extra option in there, it would really do a lot for the game. I think it would really go a long way for the free to play community and the low spending community because again, those gems are not gonna be as valuable during that game mode. But the question is, how do the big spenders feel about that? Adding game modes into the game that they're no longer gonna have an advantage on because of their spend. And how does Blizzard feel about catering to the community that's not paying money inside of the game versus catering to the community that is paying quite a bit of money inside of the game. Interesting questions here, but I think the idea is solid. And this is something I'd love to see implemented into the game because it directly will give back to what we've been talking about. It will directly offer people the ability to participate in something that has not been fair for them to participate since the launch of the game. I like it. I also like the Accursed Towers. You guys should go in there inside of it every single day, get your rewards, Click away, get your rewards, get your XP, upgrade because of it. It's just a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts on this idea. Would you play a gemless PvP? Even if it were Battlegrounds as it is today, but gemless. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. And when you do comment, let me know if you're a free-to-play player, a mid-spender, or if you are a whale inside of the game. Very curious. This is the type of thing where I could look back on these comments and possibly make a video based on what you guys had to say. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video.